the clutch i can already smell the clutch so i don't know how long this is gonna last but if it does <laughs> bro give me some give me some that shit was dope look how garbage <laughs> look how garbage get these things off of here that's garbage let's give her a nice little rest <laughs> It looks like we're gonna need some injectors pretty soon and some other goodies. Maybe some swirly boys or some boosty boys or some hang shang wind makers. Shanghai twin boys. All right, I'll tell you when, I'll tell you when. Hang on, don't, no, 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 no. Hey, chill out, chill out, chill out. I'm not gonna do it yet. <sighs> Today's video is sponsored by Viking, War of Clans. Viking was inspired by the famous strategy and RPG games of the 90s that we all enjoyed to play as kids. <laughs> what makes Viking's world so addictive is that 20 million players are constantly playing and evolving the game gameplay. It's awesome. If you guys want to check it out, go in the link down below. You'll get a free shield. <laughs> You'll get 200 coins. Make sure you use my link down below. It helps me out a ton. <laughs> Keep going, keep going. Oh my god, Harry! Good morning, guys. It is currently 7 in the morning. Holy crap, it's cold. Me and Harry right now are headed to go pick up, hopefully, some new wheels for the Miata. We gotta make a 30 minute drive to go meet this guy. He has them uh, an hour away from us, so he's gonna meet us halfway. Jesus, I'm not a morning person. We've got a bunch of stuff to do today though, so that's good. Oh, jeez. If you guys completely hate the uh, little promotions and stuff like that for Vikings and whatever else for it's coming in the future, I completely understand, but let me explain first. These little promotions help out so much with the channel from being able to do a lot of the crazy stuff that we're planning on doing and a lot of the stuff that we've done already. Just like today, thank you so much Vikings. They're allowing us to go pick up these wheels. They're gonna allow us to do a lot of the stuff that we're gonna be doing in this channel without any regrets. And I'll show you guys what I mean a little bit later. For now, let's go pick up these wheels. Contrary to the popular belief, I'm gonna come as strong as you down in your seat. Too much hate vlog and all I can see. Fuck the bird cause the word is me. All right, we have made it to the gas station where we're meeting the guy. I gotta go look and see if we can get some cash from in here at an ATM. I forgot completely to stop by the bank. Hey, what's up? What you getting? Coffee. Fucking Pop tarts and coffee, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm low key kind of hungry too. I wonder what they got. Oh, they got them pizza slices up there at the checkout. It's so early though. Ooh, those wings? Yeah. Ooh. The guy said that he's pulling up right now. Looks like they need to be cleaned up a little bit and maybe new tires. This one really is the only one that's that bad. It's just warping all right here on the outside from I know tire wear. All right, dude. Yeah, I guess we'll take them then. Here you go. All right, man. I appreciate right, it. Cool. Thank you so yeah. much, dude. I saw the pictures and I was expecting them to look pretty rough in person, which I mean, they kind of are. Plus, we'll finally have a decent tire on there with a decent width, be wide enough, and they're 15s. They're going to look so good on the Miata. Hell yeah. All right, let's roll this bed cover back and head back home. We'll test fit these things. We definitely need to get some new tires though. Those are rough. All right guys, quick and easy. We picked up the new wheels. They actually look pretty good. They're definitely gonna have to get new tires, which isn't a huge deal. It's a 15 inch wheel, so 15 inch tires are normally pretty inexpensive. Anyways though, we are headed back to the shop right now. The guys are coming right now to come uh, wire up the lifts, the electricians. There's also a guy coming like you guys have seen. He's been in a few previous videos before where we ceramic go to the Mustang and stuff whenever I first got it a long time ago. All right, we just made it back to the shop to unload these wheels real quick, test fit them on the car. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make them work or not because I don't know if the stock lug nuts are gonna work with these wheels or not, but there's only one way to find out. So I guess let me move the car in here. We can get it jacked up, pull the wheels off real fast. I am so excited to be able to get power to the lifts finally. Should be working by the end of the day, which is gonna be awesome. We'll just pop one of the lug nuts off right here. Hopefully they'll fit down in there. It looks like it will. I think you're right here. Ooh, it's gonna be 
real tight. I think the stock lug nuts will work, but it's going to be really tight. We're going to go run to Advanced Auto or O'Reilly's and see if we can get uh, some good lug nuts that will actually work without having to get close to the, what do you call that? The OD, Inner. The OD of the lug nut hole. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to scratch out the lug hole right here so we're we're gonna try and get some extended lug nuts we're on a mission make a Vikings head and get some lug nuts all right we made it out to our location that we're about to do a burnout well I say we Harry's about to do the wickedest burnout that this Miata has ever seen probably in its entire lifetime so now we're about to film the intro you ready all right I'll tell you when I'll tell you when hang on don't no 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 hey chill out chill out chill out the clutch, I can already smell the clutch, so I don't know how long this is gonna last, but if it does do the hellacious burnout that we have planned, it should be pretty epic. Nope, all right, hang on, no, hang on. I will tell you when. <sighs> um, I guess you can go ahead. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by <laughs> Keep going, keep going. Oh my god, Harry! We did it! We did the end! <laughs> hey, go, go, go! Go, Harry! Harry, go, go, go! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Bro, give me some! Give me some! That shit was dope! <laughs> Oh my god, bro. <laughs> what year was that? Was that fourth? Was that fourth? That was, that was third. third. <laughs> On your horse Miata. <laughs> we just did a third gear burnout in a 100 horsepower Miata. <laughs> oh, is the clutch okay? Tire. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! The tire is coming apart. I told you I'd do a burnout. Oh my gosh! That was the sickest burnout from a Miata that I've ever seen. Holy crap, dude! That is so sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh my god hopefully vikings enjoys our advertisement anyways like i said guys click the link in the description below it really helps me out and we love doing stuff like this vikings there you go hope you enjoyed it oh boy that clutch is no uh, it's good it's good <laughs> It's it good. went all the way to third without spinning. I got it. <laughs> all right. Uh, I think the clutch is okay. Anyways, though, we're going to ride over to O'Reilly's real fast, check for some lugs, hopefully pick some up, and uh, I'll talk to you guys here in just a second. Ooh, the AC Delco engine stand. Daniel needs one of those. Here we go. Oh, it's going to be metric. Yeah, it's a M12 by 1.5. Yes, sir. Hey, I just need to get those. Got our lug nuts. I guess we have checked off all of our to-do lists, so we are good to head back to the shop. Yay! Dude, it smells so strong like tire. Holy crap. <laughs> all right, we made it back to the shop. Look at this, dude. It was spinning both sides. What does that mean, Harry? LSD. That means this car has got an LSD in it. We were not just one wheel peeling. We were burning both these some guns. That is actually great news because the LSDs are really strong rear ends in these cars and I was really worried that it wasn't an LSD car uh, and we haven't gotten under it to look at it to be honest with you just because we're lazy and we figured that a burnout would be the best way to find out. So burnout, both wheels are spinning, putting up plenty of smoke, good to go. I don't know what to call this either. I got Satan over there. Everybody wants me to call the truck Semen Demon. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. I wanted to call it Nightmare. Now we need a name for the little car here. What you want to call it, Harry? Some like Japanese name, like sushi or, or what's that, uh, we should name it Wasabi. Wasabi? Yeah. Hey, we're, oh, I'm not, I can't tell the color yet. Dude, it would work. It would work. We should name it Wasabi. Hey, that's actually pretty dope. We should name it Wasabi. Wait, what? It's delaminating. If oh, I would have held it any my. longer. Oh, it was pulling apart. Yeah, it's already on the secondary tread. Oh my god, the tire was legit coming apart during that burnout. Should we even be this close to it right now? <laughs> no, it's fine. What? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's good. That's nice. <laughs> oh, look! Harry, uh, oh, don't, don't ow. That, that shit, yeah. I know, I didn't think about it. I just wanted to feel it, but that was dumb. Yeah, we just drove on and didn't even think about it. We were about to drive these things to the alignment shop. No, put the bad camper tire on the front. No, back. No, what? 
Hell yeah. Hell no. The camber that we got on there right now is so bad. No, I know, but... Look how bad the, that one is. On the front, your steering wheel is going to go like this. Bad. Because you have camera on the front. What? And even it out. A burnout and even it out. You think yeah. so? It's yeah. going to rip it up. Look, you oh, want damn. that tire to look like... Oh, come on, man. We already got... I didn't even see that whenever we were looking at the wheels. That's good. It'll drive. <laughs> It'll drive. They're going to look so good on there. Oh, yeah. It would have contrasted You should probably put any seats on these, huh? These studs. They're pretty rusty. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> this is going to look good. Look at... Okay, okay, here we go. Comparison. Check that out. All right, you ready? You saw it? Look how garbage. <laughs> look how garbage. Get these things off of here. That's garbage. Trash. Oh, once we wrap this thing, it's going to look so dope. While you uh, swap these wheels out real fast, I'm going to go talk to him. He's pulling up. Hang on, give me just a second. What's going on, man? What? What's going on, man? Long time no yeah. see. How you been? Been great. Hey Gavin, check this out. So I was about to put this wheel on. Uh, yeah, we do know we need new tires, but anyway, we saw this. I didn't notice that the tire has a little bulge on it, a little knot. I don't know if y'all could see that right there. We're gonna need to go to the tire shop first because there's no way we're about to drive on the road with this. No way at all we're about to drive with this tire, this tire right there on this car on the streets of Louisiana at 80 miles an hour. There's no way. We're not gonna make it. How's it look? What do you think, Gavin? That looks pretty damn good, dude. I had to run to the store real quick to get a water hose because we got to uh, pull the Mustang out so that way we can wash it and get it ready and everything for the, what we're going to do later. These wheels look seriously great. That was the best Facebook Marketplace pickup that I have done in a while. Dude, that looks so sick. Is that going to work? Mm-hmm. All right, cool. For those of you that are new here, we actually ceramic coated the Mustang about a year ago, so you can click up whatever corner and check out the video of Jeremy whenever he actually coated the car. He's gonna wash it down real nice and we're gonna look at the coating up close to find out if the coating actually failed or not. Come on. This thing is so grumpy whenever she's cold. Yeah, it's, it's still there somewhat. Spot. I think it's just water spotted. Ooh. Yeah, you can tell we never coated the No, we never coated the bumper. I'm excited just to see this car clean, to be honest with you. I haven't gotten to see it clean, clean in quite some time, though. It's a little bit different since the last time you've seen it, huh? It's a lot different. <laughs> Whenever I brought this car to him the first time, it was like completely stuck. There was absolutely nothing done to it. I still had the cracked front bumper on it. Whenever I bought the car, it had the cracked front bumper. That's why we never coated that bumper is because I brought it to him with the cracked bumper and I got that bumper after he had already coated it. We never even coated those wheels. We never even did anything. I took Texas 2K. I was looking at all the cars with welds on them. Yeah. And I found one, there was only one car that had them all silver. So you want to All the polish? Funny? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want yeah. to hear funny Yeah, stuff? listen. <laughs> I've been working on this car for months now, and I just noticed the center of those wheels are black. Harry somehow did not know that those wheels in the center were black. And I'm not even joking. I'm being dead serious. He thought uh, his eyes, I guess, were black. I don't know. I really don't know how to explain I that. Thought they were all polished. He thought that the whole entire wheel was polished. How do you explain that? I have no idea. But he is being dead serious. He actually legitimately thought that. Every other car, there was only one car that had fully, fully polished. polished welds. All the other ones were with the black. Yeah, with the black on the center. That truck is pathetic. It looks awful. This was black at some point. Look at all the, huh? That looks good. Oh, we're leaving the wheel up there like that? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even see. I didn't even see that you put it up there. That's pretty funny, dude. I am so impressed with this little car. This is cool. Four cylinders. I guess while he's out there finishing the car, me and Harry are about to start working on the race truck now. Uh, we have this headliner that a subscriber sent in. I don't know if you guys saw, but we got this in fan mail, and I was talking about it, and I said that I really, really, really did want to wrap it, the uh, headliner, using that because check this out. Inside of here, it is completely stained it's ugly i don't know if somebody was smoking in here before it's falling down right here and everything else in the truck if you see is all black and it looks pretty cool except for the fact that that is tan up there and i don't know if you know this but i completely hate tan interiors i don't know why it's just a thing of mine but the entire truck is black and white now we've got the black wheels the white paint the black roof the black interior the black tail lights you know so on and so forth and then you go in here and you see this tan it's just it doesn't it doesn't fit the aesthetic of the truck so all you need a few simple tools 
you need some wire brushes, and you need some multi-purpose adhesives such as this. This is 3M Super 77. Boy, what you doing? What you doing? Chill out. It, it pulls directly towards you. Yep. He told me come check out the Mustang. Oh yeah. yeah, you can see where it's, it's like, not wanting to, yeah, the coating's not wanting to come off. off then it's, yeah, that's crazy. It. it could, I mean, it could be anything. It could be glue's gotten on there. Yeah, I see that. It's not, like it's it. almost like there's no coating there anymore. That's yeah. weird. It happens, you know, black car. Yeah, okay. Look at all the pollen already. Already? Golly. Okay, well, we got the car cleaned up. I'm going to move it back inside now. We did find out that the coating is not failing on the car, which is cool. No problems there. It is still hydrophobic. There is just some stuff on it where it looks like I probably used like some spray wax or something that's actually uh, covering up the coating right now. Let's give her a nice little rev. Still sounds great. Damn, Harry, I go walk outside for two seconds and you already got the whole damn headliner out. Dang, dude, it looks cool in here without the headliner in here. <laughs> We could put it up without a headliner. I don't want to be that guy that just pulls the headliner out of the car though. I thought that I was going to show you guys how to redo a headliner, but at the same time, it looks pretty dang good without the headliner in there. There we go. This thing looks race truck as hell right now. <laughs> We're going to have to put a cage in here eventually, huh? I'm sure. I don't like those handles either. Those handles are ugly. That's going to look weird with, uh, even if we do the black. We don't need handles. Well, they hold there. That's what holds it up though. Yeah, I think that's what we should do. The electricians had something come up, which is no big deal. So we're going to get the lifts installed, hopefully, and get those working tomorrow. So probably what I'm going to end up doing is just pulling the Duramax onto the four post lift right here and leaving it up in the air for whenever we need to tow and stuff like that and stop driving the Duramax every single day like I have been. I have put 22,000 miles, I think, on that truck since I bought it three and a half months ago. 22,000 miles is a lot of miles put in three and a half months. So I'm trying to keep miles off that truck, especially because fuel costs are so expensive and everything like that. So now that we have the Miata and stuff, until we do the crazy stuff that we have planned, uh, I'll be driving that if I also can find like maybe a four door sedan that I can keep stock um, and keep that as a daily. That would also be pretty cool to get a mile per gallon car. That way, if we go on trips or whatever, we don't have to take the Duramax. So that would be cool. What's she bringing us? Goodies. What kind of goodies we got? Uh-oh, I know what this is. Ampify MS3 Pro. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, <laughs> I know what this is. DIY Auto-Tune Engine Management System. MS3 Pro. Oh my god. Oh. What did you Oh, oh no. on the Oh man. These are my only good pants. Look at the white. Dang. Look at the white. It just straight ripped them open too. Not only is the Miata getting, this was a surprise package. Hold up, let's open it up, hang on. Not only did the Miata get wheels today, but the Miata got a little early birthday present too. Oh baby, look at that. Here is the Miata's new engine management. Check that out. What? More stickers, More stickers for the Trooper Hood? Pre-90, 95. It's a OBD yeah, one. Yeah. So this is OBD2 yeah, now. It's going to be OBD2 yes. on a Miata. Yeah. That's cool. John Hoffman Innovations, DIY Auto Team. Thank you Thank so, you. so much. I don't even know what to say. I was not supposed to. I didn't know that this was. I forgot that this was all coming in today. I wasn't supposed to even mention any of this till next video, probably, but. Oops. It looks like we're gonna need some injectors pretty soon and some other goodies. Maybe some swirly boys or some boosty boys or some hang shang wind makers. Shanghai twin boys. So you're gonna learn how to tune? This is basically a tunable computer because the Miata stock ECU is not, I don't believe it's tunable, huh? No, I don't think so, no. The, the stock ECU in the Miata is not tunable being that it's such an old ECU. I mean, it, it came out in 91. So um, anyways, basically what this is gonna allow us to do is actually mod the car and tune it to be able to hold up to the mods. We're gonna have to put a fuel pump in it and lines. I mean, we're not new plug new. wires, plugs. Um, we're planning on building the one six block that's in it right now. It's not gonna hold up to that much power. It'll hold up to enough though under a turbo and it's gonna be fast, fast, fast for what it is being that the car weighs, I think two, less than 2000 pounds, something like that. It's gonna really haul ass. So whenever we get this thing and get the turbo for it, now we've got the entire engine standalone kit and the ECU and everything. So that way we can tune it to be able to uh, max out our air fuel ratios, everything like that. And Harry is gonna have to learn how to tune here, which is gonna be fun. 
he's been wanting to tune anyway so we got him hooked up you want to try our little backyard turbo kit like we were talking about so you don't have to do it tomorrow i wonder if there's a tune on it already yeah it, it's going to be a base map tune to where it it'll still be, run yeah it'll run better than it's plug and play you just plug it in there and uh it's gonna run. In so this is gonna replace the stock ECU location, or are we gonna put this somewhere else? Yeah. It's gonna replace the stock ECU mm -hmm. location. Got you. That's why you got this bracket. Right so what's here. this vacuum hose for? You see, there's a vacuum on there. I guess this is for boost reference. If it's a boosted car, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Huge, huge, huge thanks to those guys once again for sending that over. Cannot express enough how great that's gonna be once we get the car actually ready for that point. It's gonna be nuts. That camera's going. Yeah. Who wants to see me do a fifth gear burnout in the Miata? <laughs> I don't think it's gonna do it. Not not like this, but that clutch is gonna burn up. Once I do that, no, nah, it'll be. You think once you put the ECU on there, it'll do a fifth gear burnout on what wheels? The stock ones and blow them up. If I would put them up to high PSI, they were pretty low on PSI. Put them up to 100 PSI. <laughs> I guess so we're gonna wrap it up right there for this video guys We have a lot of stuff that we have to do and I'm trying to break it up into videos so that we don't have them too long But we did get the engine management. Oh my god engine man <laughs> But we did get the engine management and we got new wheels for the Miata, which is awesome Harry did the giant craziest most monstrous burnout in a Miata and now he thinks that he can top it We did a third gear burnout. He thinks that he can do a fifth gear burnout whether we burn the clutch up or not I probably uh, I, It'll probably burn up. I don't know. I don't really know what else to say So uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next video